that I can expect my life to be different with him. I can hope for better and change. I can hope for increase. I can hope for healing and deliverance and recovery. The H stands for hope. The O stands for opportunity. Bible says that he said that he'll open up the windows of heaven and pour us out blessing that we have room not enough to receive. We know that that's not money because I can receive as much money as you can give me. <laughs> but it's opportunity. Opportunity to succeed. Opportunity to win. Opportunity to increase. Opportunity to recover. Opportunity to walk closer with him. Opportunity to make impact. H stands for hope, O stands for opportunity, P stands for God, stands for power and prosperity. It all means that I have power, access to the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ said, I give you power to tread upon all power of the enemy. Not just some of it, but all of it. And the same way I sent D'Angelo to his seat, so we send Satan and all of his demons to their rightful place. He says in the book of Acts, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Power to lay hands on the sick and they recover. Power to declare your healing. Power to impact and change the, the environment and the atmosphere. Power to change your person, yourself, and your family. And the E, saints of God, stands for eternity. That I have the opportunity to be with him forever. This is our time for life change and touch. I can expect that he's gone to prepare a place for me. And I will be with him forever. With every head bowed, every eye closed, I want to make one simple appeal, saints of God, very quickly. This is the appeal for a real genuine relationship. I want you to know that I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm not going to call you out even. I'm not going to call you to the front. I'm not going to put a microphone in your face. I simply want to pray with you. And I want you to have the opportunity to make a conscious decision for Jesus Christ. Remember, the Bible says that we are not even drawn to God of our own. We don't even come to God of our own volition. But really, saints of God, we are drawn by his Holy Spirit. It's not by a coincidence that you're here or you feel that thing that you're feeling right now in your heart. And I want to be closer to God. I want a real relationship with God. That's him seeking to save you, to connect with you to bring you into a saving relationship. Those of you who are watching online, it's the same thing. There's no distance in the spirit. This is God reaching you wherever you are in the world, reaching out to you to connect with you. With every head bowed, every eye closed, I'm not going to embarrass you. I simply want to pray for you. I want to, as I lift up this prayer, I want to know who I'm praying for. If you say, well, pastor, I'm not sure that if I die today, <clears throat> that I'll end up in heaven. So I want to be sure to give my life to Christ. Or you might say, Pastor, I've just strayed way off the path and I need to rededicate my life to Christ today. If that's you for either one of those situations, saints of God, and you want to be saved today, with every head bowed, every eye closed, just raise your hand right where you are. God bless you, my brother. Yes, my sister. Yes, my sister. Yes, sister, I see you. My other sister, I see you. Yes, my brother over here, I see you. I see you. In the balcony, I see you. Yes, I see you in the balcony. I see my other sister in the balcony. My other sister in the balcony. My sister over here on the left side, my brother. My other sister, hallelujah. My sister in the back, hallelujah, I see you. God bless you on the right side, my brother, I see you. You can put your hands down. <clears throat> hallelujah. Let's stand together, saints of God. Let's stand together. We can pray this prayer together. The Bible says, if you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, that you shall be saved. Remember, he did not many miracles among them because of their unbelief. Jesus Christ has come that you would have abundant life, that you would be healed, that you would have power, your life will be turned around. We can pray this prayer together, saints of God, and be saved. Repeat after me. Say, Father. Father. 
Thank you. Thank you. For Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ. I admit. I admit. That I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I fall short. And I fall short. Of your glory. Of your glory. But I believe that Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Lived. Lived. Died. Died. And rose again. And rose again. For my sin. For my sins. I accept him. I accept him. As my Lord. As my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. So I ask you. So I ask you. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Live inside of me. Live inside of me. Take charge of my life. Take charge of my life. Make my life. Make my life. The best life. The best life. That it can be. That it can be. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord high praise in the sanctuary. part of the household of God. Say, will you step over here? I want you to know that in the Bible, everyone who accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior were all baptized in his name. Baptism is so important that Jesus Christ himself came to be baptized by John the Baptist. He said, let's do this to fulfill the scripture. Saints of God, I want to encourage you to go on and be baptized in Jesus' name. There is a lot of symbolism there, saints of God, that even as you are buried in the water, it is symbolic of being buried with Jesus Christ and rising again anew. Hallelujah, the resurrection. Brother Zay will be here. We baptize once a month. He'll be up here up front. You can come by and see him. He'll take your information and get connected with you and get you signed up for baptism. Don't miss this next level of your experience and your relationship with God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Our doors now are open, saints of God. If you don't have a church home,